Hey, buddy. First day of demo, already an hour and a half behind schedule because I needed a tool. Pretty sure this is exactly how most of this build is gonna go. Today's gonna be a fun day. Emily is gonna help me remove the seats out of the bus. Milo is going to be a great little boy today. He hasn't been sleeping much, so we're exhausted. Needless to say, let's get these seats out of this thing. So yeah, today is day one of demolition. We're gonna try to get all these seats out of this thing, baby permitting. I think it should go pretty easy, and we're probably just gonna grind off the heads. Look who just joined the show. The way that I decided to remove the seats, you can do it basically one of two different ways. Manually do all the bolts. You have to have someone on the top and someone on the bottom to hold each nut and spin. So you can either have two people do that, or you can just get a grinder and grind off the heads. That's the route that I went to. So I was by myself, so I had to, I didn't have the luxury of having two people. The easiest way is to get your grinder and go straight underneath the head itself. Try to grind off just the screw parts of it. And that seemed to work pretty well. But last night, I actually got quite a bit of progress done by just going ahead and grinding off the heads. I think one thing that slowed me down was I was going from grinding off the heads to unbolting them to grinding off the heads to unbolting them. While it is nice to get the seats out one by one, I think I just wasted a lot of time by constantly switching my tools. I just decided to start grinding it all the head and get all of those done and then today I'm gonna to come back and get all the bolts done that I have to use a ratchet with. I use just a regular electric grinder it worked really well with the four inch disc. I was using manual tools with a manual ratchet and a wrench kind of a pain in the butt. I went ahead and bought a Harbor Freight $20 air ratchet so I really think that's gonna make my life a lot easier so we'll see how that goes. Yeah so I'll kind of show you a couple of examples of how I did it. All in all, I don't think it was that difficult. If I could say anything, power tools for sure. Air tools definitely help. Having the right tools makes a world of difference. And if you're just starting a project, um, I think investing in the right tools, definitely put that in your budget. It's gonna save you not only just time, but the headache of trying to figure out how to get something done. If you've got power tools, if you've got air tools, or just the right tools in general. I mean, I was struggling with a bolt over here, and instead of deciding to fight it, I just decided to grab the grinder and just take care of it. Made a world of difference, saved me a bunch of time. So if you guys have any questions about how to get this done, any little inside tricks or anything that I learned along the way, please feel free to give me a comment, shoot me a message, any of the above. The purpose of these videos is to kind of shed a light and give more context to what's actually going on and how to do some things. 
There's a lot of forums and a lot of pictures, but personally, I just do a really good video. That's the, the way I learn the best. I'm, I'm gonna focus on that. Try to create some good content to help bring as much knowledge to this as possible so you guys can jump into this and not have a whole lot of questions on how to do things. So this is going to take me a lot longer than I anticipate just because I'm having to set up the camera every so often because uh, I, I want to make sure I, I produce a good show that you guys are going to appreciate. So like the video if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it, and if you could subscribe, we would really appreciate it. Um, it definitely helps us out, especially with this process. I'm trying to, to send out this project to as many people as possible to help grow the school bus community and help shed light on travel and how easy it can be. I want to bring as much value to as many people as possible. And yeah, we'll keep doing this thing. Appreciate you guys.